name is Maxine Temino. I'm director of Cathedral Music here at the Cathedral of St. John, and today we're going to take a little tour of the Cathedral's pipe organ, which happens to be the largest pipe organ in the state of New Mexico. So, follow me. So here we are. Right here to my right is the organ blower. And when we turn the switch on upstairs, this becomes just a large wind turbine. Behind this, you can see a very large wind tunnel. And that essentially takes the air upstairs into the reservoirs, um, up into the chancel space. And just beside the wind turbine here, we have a very large reservoir. Now what you can see on top of that are some very heavy concrete bricks, and that's to help keep the reservoir from having its gussets blow <laughs> right open and so that air in there is pressurized air and that's just to make sure that we're not putting too much air into the wind tunnel um, and that, um, that that way we can feed all 4,000 plus pipes upstairs in a regulated fashion. see a number of buttons and manuals, keyboards, and that kind of thing behind me, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on. First, what we're going to do is a ceremonial turning on of the organ. So that noise that you hear, that is the air from the wind turbine downstairs going up the wind line, into the wind lines and reservoirs up here in the chancel. Let's go take a look inside the organ. Here you also see our wonderful wind line which is supplying all of these lovely reservoirs uh, here with air and again they're just dying to make music. We're gonna head up to the chambers. Follow me. You're seeing rows and rows of beautiful pipes. Some of those really long pipes. They're so long in fact that they don't actually fit in the chamber and that's why they're mitered that way. And there are thousands of pipes. Being the largest pipe organ in the state of New Mexico means that we have an organ that has over 4,000 pipes. Those pipes are divided into different divisions. And so right now, I'm in the swell division. Next door is the great division and the choir division. And along the back wall in these chambers are the pedal division. At the back of the cathedral, um, over top of the narthex, we have the antiphonal division. And you'll see also how some of these pipes look a little bit different. Some of them are shiny, some of them are speckled, so we have different metal alloys going on. Some of them have these little shiny sleeves on top. These are called tuning sleeves, and so when we get the organ tuned two or three times a year, these are all hand tuned. So the cathedral's pipe organ has 65 ranks, and a rank is essentially one stop. And every stop has 61 notes attached to it because we have uh, 61 keys for each rank. And so they're all organized in a nice little family, in nice little rows here, and they give this beautiful architectural design sense about it. So this is a really unique view of the cathedral from what we call the swell shades. Now these act like blinds in your kitchen. And through the swell shades, you can see some amazing views of the cathedral.
have a beautiful reed stop. And a reed stop functions a little bit like um, a clarinet reed or a bassoon reed where you have something that vibrates against the column of air. And so just taking that apart, you can see here two components. This is called your tuning slide. I'm not going to move that up and down because that would change the pitch. Um, and then over top of this shallot, you have this little thin reed. This is a very traditional looking organ pipe. At the bottom there, you have the toe with the hole through it and that's where the air comes through. And there's the mouth of the pipe and its little sides, those are called beards. And then the very top of the pipe, that's called a stopper. And that just helps uh, to figure out the length of the pipe and how to actually also allows the organ tuner to tune the pipe by moving that little stopper around. Here's a cool look at the trumpet stop. This is the 16 foot length trumpet. And this little organ demo sound. In the chamber we were in the swell chamber and these are all of the stops that were associated with those uh, pipes that we were uh, hanging out with and then this is the other division the pedal division and over on this side of the console we have the antiphonal division which these are stops that operate the pipes over the top of the narthex doors um, the great division and the choir division if you think of the pipe organ and all of these stops on both sides of me as crayons in a very large crayon box, um, I love to think of the stops as just different colors. So I'm going to demonstrate for you one of the 32 foot stops that we have. This is the Ophiclide. And so I'm going to start at the lowest note we have. sounds a little bit like a Mack truck. And then a 16 foot pitched stop um, called the trombone. And then an eight foot stop. This is a, a principal stop. stop on top of that and so that demonstrates a little bit about um, some of the stops in the pedal division and it also demonstrates the different lengths of pipe and how they correspond to pitch so here's a stop um, on the swell division over here I'm going to play a little bit on the French trumpet <laughs> here to the antiphonal division we'll pick um, an, a little two foot stop for you to hear and over here to the greats we're gonna pick our friend the tromba and I'm just going to play for you the notes all 61 notes from the top to the bottom and what you're going to hear is that we're actually missing a few pipes from sounding because of the dust. Here we had some very interesting tuning.
if you're one of the parishioners that leaves the church through the narthex doors and you look up you're going to see the antiphonal division of the organ so here's kind of a unique view of that these are the copper pipes the trumpet en chamade otherwise affectionately known as the bishop's trumpet it's one that we use fairly sparingly because it tends to part the hair of all of you sitting in the pews and here's a really beautiful look at our antiphonal window which is in need of some repair as well and so all of this pipe work sitting here on the antiphonal chest needs to be also removed For joining me on this tour of the cathedral's pipe organ. We have such a magnificent instrument and it's been a real pleasure to take you along and show you behind the facade.